Okay, this is a, uh, a, a lathe centering uh, attachment that I built originally from my shoreline. I, about five, six years ago, I uh, saw it online. A guy had built one, and uh, he designed it, I guess. And uh, I've been using it for a long time, and I wanted to show it to some friends. And uh, I couldn't find it online, and I wanted to build one for my atlas. So the one you're looking at me center drilling right now, I actually built for this atlas. And I'm making a uh, winding arbor for a clock. And uh, I'll show you how it all works. So I've got an eighth inch plug to fit in there. So let me put that in there and I'll show you what we got here in the end. Okay, I pressed in the uh, uh, the uh, piece. So that's what the uh, winding arbor is going to look like on the end. And uh, I've used this center. I've made ores with it, clocks, all kinds of stuff with it. I really like this. So what I just um, what I'm going to do now is I'll. Uh, uh, I'm going to put on some of the uh, pictures I took while I was making it, and then at the end I'll build the key. Uh, I'll use it to build to finish off the key for this winding arbor, and uh, that should give you a good idea of uh, uh, how useful this tool can be. Okay, we're going. I'm going to use this uh, uh, quick change tool. Uh, block as the basis for the centering device. What I want is when I'm working is just to be able to put this in here like that and remove this and put the uh, the centering block on there and uh, then be able to get right back into whatever it was I was doing and easy. Make it easy to replace it and put it back. So I've made some measurements and I've got a piece of aluminum over on the power hack so you can probably hear it in the background. So we'll go over there and see what's going on. do a little bit of a polishing on this block uh, before uh, I take it over to the mill and do the drilling and stuff. I do a lot of polishing and stuff like that. Always wear the gloves because the best polishing occurs when the block starts to get hot. So you want gloves to hold it, you know, for safety reasons too, but I mean it really it, it's going to get hot and that's when the best polishing is going to take place. I use Tripoli, I use uh, Jewelers Rouge for finishing fine stuff, but for this just a little bit of a, 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 aluminum soap, put some soap on there, dress the wheel a little bit, and just get in there and polish. Yeah, you can see already, polishes up pretty quick. Getting a 
hot now. So some good polishing is happening now. And there you go. And keep a rag. Clean it up a little bit more. So I'll continue on here. And I'll uh, take you over to the mill. So now we're going to start cutting the slots with this router bit. And uh, router bits work really well for cutting aluminum. Keep your speed up. And uh, this is going to be a long process. I'm going to cut slots on all four sides. And this is how it's all going to go. It's going to be a while to finish it all off. I'll come back to you later. Here's the finished block. And these 
these are the arms that hold the, the pieces in. You need two of those at least. And then the top piece to put it all together. So it all goes together. Looks like that. And with your end pieces on it. Alright, let's go get that uh, uh, winding arbor uh, key and uh, finish that off. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and get the press the bar in place, and we'll take a look at this and uh, see how it came out. Okay, I finished. I pressed in the handle, and so there's the winder, and uh, it'll hook. It hooks right onto the arbor, and then you can wind the clock. I'm not sure this is the one I'm going. The key I'm going to use, but it was a good example for this uh, uh, this uh, tool, which is a pretty handy tool. Wish I could have found the original uh, uh, YouTube on it. Uh, if anybody finds it, uh, you know, send, pass it on uh, and I'll uh, take this one down. Thanks again for watching.